understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. Hello, hello, welcome viewers. My name is Michael Park, and commentating with me today is... Hello, my name is Trevor, and I'm a, I'm a new member to the eSports team, so I'm hoping to see some really good games today. Okay, so, before we start, I'd like to thank our, you know, our sponsors, uh, GTA, uh, Guam Army National Guard, and Glidepath. So, thank you all, our sponsors. You know, we wouldn't be here without you, so thank you very much. So, moving forward, okay, today we'll be playing well, is our nice group battle our first one uh our first week one basically and we'll be playing against dallas baptist university uh now i've seen a little bit of the of the players over there but i'd like to ask you like how do you think uh, we'll fare today trevor well it'll be interesting to see because uh this is my first time in the team and i've never seen wh what our opponents are like mm -hmm. but i've heard from the last nice uh, nice game from last season uh you guys went up against them, and uh, you I think you guys did pretty well up against them. Yeah, from what I recall, yes, actually. And, you know, it, not only that, but you're not, you haven't seen our, our players play that much either, so I hope that, you know, you see some great things today. And I, I'm hoping as well, as, as their coach as well, not just a commentator for today. So it seems that uh, it, it's going to be a 4v4 crew battle. And if you're unfamiliar with how crew battles work, right, it's going to be, you know, it's 4v4. And, you know, the first player will, the first couple of players will fight against each other and then we'll, keep, we'll, we'll just run down like that. So uh, it'll be fairly interesting, I would say. As for the program here, it's going to be, uh, we're going to be going through NACE play for, you know, the next several, like, weeks, right, up until like probably almost the end of the semester, right, and later on we're going to be using two teams, right, this team is called Trinity Sports, you know, Team Gold, and then uh, Team Green, okay, which will, which will be later on, okay, so, moving forward, right, uh, it, it'll be interesting, I would say, oh, are we, are we starting, okay, it seems that our player Mitro Steve, is a Steve main, and he'll be going first against, you know, Dallas Baptist University, which is I'm ex excited to see who their first player is going to be, and whether or not it's, it's a good or bad matchup against Steve. I think Steve has a very solid matchup spread overall, uh, but you know, it depends. We'll see how Mitro fares against it. Yeah. How how do you feel about Steve as a character? I know that there's a lot of like. Uh, controversy, but right. I think overall, I think he's a very solid character. I don't, like they've been talking about like even banning the character, actually. But I, don't, I personally don't think the character should be banned. From your own experience, how do you feel about Steve as a character? Um, going against Steve, I think he has a lot of good um, mix-ups and tools in his arsenal. But the uh, thing I think that separates him is that you need to like really work with him to really get the most use out of him. Mm -hmm. But yeah. because of how uh, integrated his stuff can be, or how annoying it can be. I think that's why people want to ban it because his uh, his frames aren't that exactly that noticeable sometimes. Yeah, like the character feels a bit weird. Like in comparison to other characters who have very, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say his kit isn't straightforward. Like you know, he 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 mines, and then <laughs> you know he builds his block, his little wall. He keeps you out, and then he continues to mine until he gets the materials that he wants, like gold, diamonds, or whatever. And then that really ups his damage. Right? And once he gets that, the materials he needs, 
he'll, move, he'll you know, probably engage or maybe can. Okay, so we're going up against Steve and Rob. Steve and Rob, yeah. This is going to be a lag check, but Steve and Rob. That matchup is interesting because Rob has pretty solid, like, you know, buttons. Both up close and for buttons far away, he has gyro, he has laser. And Steve doesn't really care about that because, as you can see, the way he places blocks like that, he can just put a couple blocks up and then he's fine the mine. Alright, so from there, it's a matter of who has the better uh, engagement. Who, who wins, I can't really say. Personally, I haven't seen this matchup played that often, but from what I can tell, uh, I think Rob's going to have a, a pretty hard time getting in, especially on a stage like this, right? Because one of Rob's main uh, approach tools is falling in there. Like, he spins around in the air like that, that move right there. He'll fall down just to like land on top of you with it, and then, and then he gets a combo from it. But as you can see, all uh, Maestro, Steve's player, all he really needs to do is put two blocks in front of the platform there, right? And then what can he do? He can't laser through it, he can't use the, the spinning top through it, and he can't land with Nair because he'll be right on top of the platform. So it, it's going to be a little bit hard. But how do you feel about the matchup? Well, this is just a test match, but if it were uh, to be an actual real match, I feel like it would be a pretty equal matchup. Hmm, in I the see. sense that uh, I don't really know how Rob works because I've really seen him being played by many people. Yeah, but overall, like even though he's not that popular here, one of our best, uh, best players on this island does play Rob. But uh, in in the mainland, the states, right? He's actually a very popular character played over there. There's a lot of Rob players, like a lot. He has a very solid kit, and it's he's a good character. I'm very surprised that there's not actually more players here using the character. And I'm not very surprised to see that on the uh, on the opposite team, there is a raw player, you know? And, you know, moving forward, our players here, they should have a decent, like, matchup uh, experience with Rob, right? They, they, they have players here that do play Rob, but they don't fight against the character too often, at least when it comes to Nace. I don't think that we've seen that many Robs in, in Nace, but, this is going to be the first one we've had in a while, so I'm, I'm very excited to see how Mark, or Mitra, our Steve player, uh, you know, adapts and overcomes this trial. Because Rob is not an easy, easy character to fight. Even if you are a character that's good, you know, like, you know, you're using Steve, one of the best characters in the game right now. And if that's the case, right, it's not going to be easy, I don't think, because I don't think he fought Rob in a while. But, you know, I'm excited to see how, you know, he adapts, how he uh, changes depend depending on, you know, the player matchup. Like, is this Rob just going to be throwing out Nairs the entire game, or is he going to stay back, you know, do a couple down tilts, the funny little, you know, when he, like, stabs at your feet? <laughs> or is he going to just use laser and gyro, right? Play around with those items. You know, like, is he going to be just using a specific tool, or is he going to throw a lot of mix-ups into it? Yep. So, the game's starting now, so let us get into it, let's see. Okay, okay PS2, not, not a bad stage to start with, okay. Alright, okay. Uh, so, what uh, Steve should be doing is setting up a little wall so that he can get materials. When he does do that, okay, once he does get materials, he should very much start using the the crafting bench to get diamonds, right? Get the diamond tools, or you know, upgrade his weapons. From there, right? But this raw player seems to be doing very well at approaching, right? Getting all the hits in and moving forward with it. Okay. So, okay, Rob's getting in. He's doing really well. Okay, he's he's off stage. Oh, he doesn't go for the edge guard. Okay. Rob gets the Nair. Okay, laser. Mark really needs to be a little bit careful here. Uh, he should be at a decently high percent. So, moving forward, let's see. What Rob's doing decent projectile mix ups. How do you feel about the matchup so far? Like, not the matchup. Since we talked about it, we only really had like an idea of you know, our own personal opinion. But seeing it right now, how do you feel about it? I feel like Rob is a really good start because uh, from what I've heard over the, uh, over the screen, it seems like, uh, yeah, Steve is already taking a lot of damage, and I think he should play a little bit more defensively. Yeah. Like, right now, like, Steve is at a fairly high percent. Right now, he can die to, like, maybe 
uh, like a simple down throw to up air or you know some smash attack but this rob seems to be kind of struggling actually around these walls a little bit right he should be very oh he gets he gets to turn around back air back air is a, typically a very strong move not on ju not just on rob oh my god okay can you get the edge guard okay he's fine he's fine he's fine okay oh my god he needs to get out of that okay he's, he's recovering rob has a very good recovery oh, oh that's good anvil. the anvil edge guard. anvil is such a good uh move to use as an edge guard Simply because you know it covers the entire the, that entire area going down, you know. But Rob has you know, access to recovery. He has the the rocket the uh, the rocket recovery, right? They're not really rocket, but jetpack recovery. Okay. But the game is now evened up. Okay. Both players seem to be doing fairly well, and it's it's interesting to see what this Rob is doing, and it's interesting to see Mark try to work around it, but he needs to be a little bit more careful. He can't just be using all these materials. Every time he uses a minecart, every time he uses, you know, those... Oh, never mind, he got diamonds. He's good. He's feeling great. Okay. So, moving on. How do you think that this Rob should really be approaching this? I feel like he should be throwing a lot less projectiles like he's doing right now. He's not really getting in as much, which is why the match is pretty even so far. That's true. Oh my god, that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful evade from, uh, from Mark there. Very nice. Okay. Like you said earlier, this Rob should be getting a little bit more in, but risking doing it, he can get hit by that. Yes. Minecart. Minecart is a very strong tool, right? It can be both uh, like an aggressive like, you know, move to hit you with, because it's a very fast burst option, right? But not only that. Uh, if Steve jumps off of it, it turns into a grab. You can't shield that. So sometimes it's very hard to deal with that first option, even if you know it's coming. You know. So moving forward. Right? Oh, he drops the combo. It's fine. Take it easy. Mark is in the lead right now. All he needs to do is either play it a little bit like passively, a little like basically sort of camp him out, but you know, punish him when he does. Uh, when the Rob does come in. Okay. So. Okay, he's getting material. Right now he should be really setting it up. Uh, setting up ledge so that Rob just can't come back in easily. Oh my god, so close. Now the F-Smash from uh, Steve is very strong. Like, not only is it very strong with the upgraded, you know, diamonds or gold, what, whatever you have, right? But, moving forward, right? If you can just get one solid hit in, he'll win the game. Right there! Yes! Oh no, the block that he plays there, there stopped it. Oh no, my god! It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. He gets it with the my card. Good job. Good job. Nice. From my Good job for the Roth player, too. I feel like he was doing it right a good amount of the time, right? He was trying to get in with Nair, right? He stopped uh, Mark from approaching a good amount of the time. But, you know, Mark adapted. He used the stronger Minecart version and just smacked him away faster, right? Mark was just better in, in those certain moments. So... I think that uh, since it's 1-0 right now, because they have to do a best of three, let's see if the, the Rob player, right, he's able to adjust and adapt properly, or will Mark just steamroll right through him, right, with the unconventional, you know, matchup that is Steve versus Rob. So, uh, what do you think of the match? Sure. So far, it's been really interesting because it seems like uh, the Rob, I feel like I want to see Rob try and uh, adjust his uh, playstyle a little bit. Because right now, what um, Mitro is doing is really, really... He's practicing with Steve a lot, and so he knows how to, you know, time adjust and manage his time. Mm -hmm. You know, manage his materials, manage, uh, like, how he should be placing blocks in order to defend against Rob's approach options, right? Not just approach options, but, like, um, his projectiles from across the screen. Like, Rob has a full-screen laser right? that can hit you just, for, just from across the stage. Depending on how he charges the uh, down B too, the the gyro, uh, you know he can just throw that out too. So he he has multiple projectiles, but you know, all all you know Steve has to do is just build a wall, and then he can just go straight back to mining. You know, very, very re re reminiscent of his gameplay in, in his actual game, actually. But regardless, right? Now that that's the case, I wonder if the player is swapping because he's currently in the you know the part of the arena where you can change your character you change your name so right now it seems that maybe they're talking they're strategizing on the other side or we're chilling and we're waiting we're gonna see wait and see more gameplay you know and 
maybe the, we'll see Rob again, right? It's, it is a 4v4 crew battle, so the Rob did lose. However, we'll see what we'll see what's happening. Okay. Oh, right now they're choosing stages. Last stage was uh, was Pokemon Stadium. Now we're going to Town and City. Town and City is a fairly big stage, I would say. Um, it has uh, it has platforms that change uh, intermittently. You know, like one uh, one uh, one like platforms that could be there. One of the platforms that could be there. My bad. One of the arrangements, I guess you could say, could be either like PS2, where it's just two platforms, or like a lot of platforms that are there. So we'll see. Mm, interesting. Uh, the raw player just went back to the rain room. Maybe, maybe you got the maybe you got the wrong color. Not sure. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Oh, Ridley now. Okay. 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 Very nice choice of skin too, for the, the the variant. Very nice, very solid. So, oh, hold on. Oh, I think they are discussing with the other team, like uh, you know what's going on. It's fine. It's fine. We, we take it. It's the first game. So now that you've seen Steve in action, how do you think he'll fare against Ridley? It's hard to say because really has the really good side B. He does have a side B that is tech, is, is is a burst option, and a lot of the burst options that are like you know grabs, they are fairly good I would say. But I don't think side B can go through blocks. I don't think so too. You know, now that I think about it, I'm not maybe. I haven't seen it go. Through, I haven't seen the matchup myself, Ridley versus uh, Steve, since you know this this is a game that has so many characters, right? You're you'll. You're uh, like out of how many combination of matchups you need to know a lot, and this matchup in particular, I personally don't have a lot of experience. With I it. agree with that stance too, because yeah. I've only played Ridley with other characters, rarely Steve. Yeah, like what? Because you know what? What Ridley has, right? He ha he is a decently fast character on the ground, not that fast in the air, but he has multiple jumps. He has two in the air. Uh, he has a very linear recovery actually. It only goes in four directions, not like. Characters like uh, Wolf, who can go in many different angles, or Pikachu, or any of the, you know, the, the the space animals, Fox, Wolf, Falco, right? Their upbees can go in a lot of directions, but with Ridley, right? Even though his upbee is very similar to those, it only goes in four directions: like up, down, left, right. So thank goodness he does have multiple gems to help him recover, as well as his side B, which can be used in the air to recover. But all Steve needs to do is go off stage, place a couple blocks, and I don't think really can really do much. I mean, I mean, it also depends on what block he places down, because there's dirt, there, I believe there is stone, and then he can also place down iron blocks. Correct. So, depending on the strength of those blocks, right? Dirt, a lot of characters can go right through it, but if it's iron, you know, it's, I don't think he can go right through that, unfortunately. So, I personally think that Steve uh, might have the upper hand here. I, I agree on that sense too, because Steve is fairly small, so it'll be hard for really to him too. Yeah, really has really good buttons though. Like he has a very solid dash attack. He has a projectile which he can charge, shoot multiple fireballs out. Like if you played any of the uh, like the original uh, Metroid games, he actually just shoots a, a torrent of fireballs at his opponent if he charges it. Mm. So I'm not sure if that goes through what uh, goes through the block, but eh, it's still hard for really to do much. Like he can try using his air, his aerials, right? Forward air is like a three hit, three hit stabbing move. It doesn't really break through a wall that easily, but he's risking landing unsafely against Ra uh, against, not against Ra, but against uh, Steve. Yeah, we shall see. Maybe there will be emergent gameplay from Ridley. Maybe, maybe I'll see. I'll learn something new today, or you know. We won't. <laughs> oh, who knows? We'll see. Let's let's see this. Okay. All right. Ooh, it's bad block. I think yeah. I think this is just a, a test. Let's see how it how it fares. It's all good. Now yeah, see, look at Ridley's move in there. So crisp. Looks looks solid. Okay. I think they're going into it now. Uh, uh, here to see. See that stabbing lunge or not lunge, but like a, well, a stabbing move. That's his uh, Ridley sport. It does break through block and it's not super punishable, but. Depending if uh, Mitro, he knows 
that is coming. He can just walk up and use either dash attack or jab or forward tilt to get a really solid punch. Or he can just use minecart. Uh, see, uh, that was uh, B I saw earlier, yeah? It goes in a slight downward angle, I believe, which is interesting. Yeah. Okay. Playing, this is a very interesting game so far. It's fine. Really kind of testing out where he can throw out, where he can be throwing out buttons and where he shouldn't be. It's very neutral right now, which is quite not normal for a Ridley player. It's it's fine. That's because it's uh, you know really taking his time to download, right? Uh, he does have a stock lead, so he can, he can basically do that. Now, Mark with all that time that he used mining, right? All that little, all that time, he now has gold and now he has diamond material. So now he's able to even kill uh, Ridley super early. Because Ridley's not super light, but he's not super heavy. Right? He's kind of like, uh, needs some bone density. He needs to drink some milk. Mm. Okay, yeah, the left hand. Uh, multiple portals to the death mm. but he that gets up to nice up B. Yeah, that was a good, because up B, depending on how you land with it, it'll combo into certain moves. Like he can like combo into a full combo, or you can just end it there with up smash like he did earlier, which is very solid, very interesting. The, the Steve metagame is still like very uh, very much in its infantile stage, but regardless of whether or not it is, it's still good. Uh, a neat thing to know about Steve is that even if he uh, he loses his stock, he still keeps his materials. Uh, he, he died with gold diamonds, but he came back and now he's able to just, you know, have it. Okay? Now regardless of whether or not Mark can like really pull this arm off. Oh Ooh. my goodness. What is he going to do? Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, oh that was it. I saw an uppy. I saw an upbeat from Ridley. I think that might have been a miss up, but it's fine, it's fine. You know, sometimes you you make miss up you just gotta brush it off. But that's a big chance for Mark to make a come, make a solid comeback. Oh, oh, he got oh see, he has diamonds now. Yeah. This is this is really solid, but he doesn't have other materials, he only has wood wood and dirt if you if you see on the uh, the little bar on the left above uh, Steve's percent. Okay. Oh. Okay, I see. That was an interesting trade. I think that Mark should have focused on uh, rage. not ri uh, ri not rage per se, but like he should have focused on actually playing against uh, Ridley, right? Because he's very very much focused on getting material right now, but he can't really risk that. He's a very high percent Ridley's like flying, not flying, but he's hopping in the air trying to chase him down. So he should have set up a wall first, right? Just so he can have a bit of time to actually get those materials that he needs. And then play out the game because he already has like diamonds on deck he already has wood he already has some stone he has plenty of materials he has d oh no he has wood and dirt mostly but he has materials that he can work with to play the game once he's safe then he should try to get materials or he can try to capitalize on like really either being on the ground or off stage but he seems to be focusing on just getting materials which isn't bad per se but in that moment the Ridley just took advantage of the fact that Mark was really hyper focused on getting materials. So he just went in and just said, Hey, yo, what are you doing here? You think you mine here? Nah. Yeah, kind of read where his movement is really well. Yeah, he, he moves really, really, really well. But regardless of whether or not like he moves, right? Mark did his job properly. He, got, he beat the first person and he took a lot of stocks from the second person. That's value, right? Versus t it took two people. Right, it, it took like it took five stocks to take away Mark's three stocks. So I think he did phenomenally. Right? I agree too. Yeah. So I wonder who the, who they're going to be throwing out next. And regardless of who they throw out next, I have faith that our team can just clutch all the way. Right now we're we're doing you know, fantastic. I'm really proud of these guys. But now, ooh, I don't think we can count out uh, Dallas just yet. Oh, switching up the tricks. Right, boy tricks. Coming out with the with the Roy, okay. <clears throat> Let's see who they've thrown against. I know that the uh, the opposing team has a Roy as well, but mm. the, I don't think they know that we do, unless you know they did research as well. But let us see. Let us see. LJ fighter again. Oh, oh maybe there's. Yeah. Okay, okay. And just one more time, just to make sure it's you know solidify that this is the stage. Or not, this is, this is, this is, this is the character that I'm going to be using. Because, uh, what, Tricks, he also uses Krom. And both the characters are really good, but they excel at different things. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see how he does. He has a very huge advantage here. 
All he needs to do is get like maybe a couple of interactions and maybe one hard read and he's good. But you know, depending on how he does, he all he really needs is one combo even. So same stage. Wait up. No. no, this is a uh, Smashville. My bad. Town and City, and this is Smashville. The difference between the stages is that Smashville is much smaller and it only has it ha it will always have this single platform here in the middle. Which is interesting. Okay. Mm. So right now they're doing a little button check. Feels good, I hope. Okay. They Ridley's ready. And the trick starting. Swing. Let's go, baby. Okay. Starting off the game with a very strong forward tool. Okay. Dancing blade. Okay. So, how do you feel about this matchup? I didn't talk about it that much, but it seems to be a very straightforward matchup. Both of them have very solid buttons on the ground, very solid buttons in the air. But I think that uh, uh, Roy does have better mobility overall than Ridley. So let's see. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel very confident about this matchup uh, because uh, one definitely only has one stock left, and also the rule. I went up against. Oh, Tricks that's before. gone. Ooh. Very good Nair edge yeah. guard from the Ridley. Ridley has one of the best edge guarding game. Uh, one of the best edge guards in the game. I feel he has very solid buttons. Oh my God, that was so close. That would have been so much percent. Okay. Right now, the Ridley should be focusing on getting as much mileage from this one stock as possible. And what the Roy player should be focusing on is... Oh my goodness. Trying to survive. Trying, not only trying to survive, but effectively and quickly getting rid of this one stock from Ridley. Because Ridley has a lot of tools to sort of even it out, you know? Okay, the smash. Not dead yet. Pretty solid DI from the Ridley. Right. Ridley taking his time getting back in the ground. Down tilt from Roy. Okay. This is the last trap. It's, uh, if he delayed it slightly, that would have been at the stock. Okay. Oh my god, Ridley is doing so well right now. Very solid. Right. He must have you know, got out of that gun from the last game and now he's playing extremely well. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Now Ooh, the game right. now now this is possible. This is possible. This is possible for the Ridley. But what can I... What can I oh, okay. Nice. okay. The, the catch from... That was the great. Catch from, catch from Baron. Okay, very solid. Very nice. Um, okay, let me just say, you know, I was kind of... No, I wasn't giving the Ridley player as much credit la from the last game. But that game, he did phenomenally. He brought it back. Now it's even. All right, we no longer have that, that lead that Mark graciously gifted us with. Okay, but that's okay because maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe Tricks can bring that back, right? Because Roy has a lot of a lot of tools that can take stocks just like that too, right? But I'm not sure who who we're gonna be fighting against next. Maybe it might be a good matchup. Maybe it might be a bad matchup. But regardless of what that is, uh, Tricks needs to focus on really playing it safe. Okay. Not expending his jumps early, earlier like he did, because he he died from jumping too early, like, once, and then the second time he just got hit by like a really raw B. But you know it, it's whack, so it happens, right? Now, I'm not gonna put it against him for getting hit by things uh, every now and then. But hopefully he adjusts. You know he's warmed up now, right? And he's ready to tackle the next opponent that we have. But very good from Dallas. Very very nice from him. It really is. Really good, really good. I that was really that. good from the Ridley. It seems like he learned uh, his uh, mistakes from the, the ma matchup of uh, Steve earlier. Yeah, like this, his, his boiling desire to win just overpowered it. Now he did really well. He did very solid that game. But let's see if our boy, our boy Tricks, has woken up. You know, he's shaking off all the nerves. He's ready to play. And hopefully, we'll, like, let's see where we're going to go next. And you know what? Oh, from what I just heard, Battlefield. Battlefield for Roy is solid, right? Roy has a lot of buttons that can send for a very early uh, platform tech chase, which Roy can very much excel at, right? Yes, he, he has Dancing Blade, or yeah, Dancing Blade, right? He ha which is the side B, right? The multiple slash dance that he does. He also has Jab, which is a you know like a really simple slash that pops the opponent upward. And What's he also has to wrap with me. It's K roll. K roll. This K roll is combo food for Roy. I have played this match out, this matchup personally. It is 
it's fun, of course. Like, I have a lot of fun with it, but K. Roll, if he gets hit by most of what Roy has, he will be comboed for at least 30 to 40 percent, which is pretty big in this game. But against a super heavy like K. Roll, it's not that bad. But this, there's some interesting things about K. Roll, right? K. Roll is a, a heavyweight character, but he also has two projectiles, a command grab. And he he has armor on his he has a special mechanic called belly armor, which uh, is very effective at swatting out opponents like Roy, who tends to press a lot of buttons in the air. So if say they press it at the same time, uh, K. Rool's Nair will most likely lose because it's slower. But if he throws it out preemptively and the Roy swings, then he'll win because of the belly armor. Okay, but let's get into this. The K is doing fairly solid right now. He has he has a tremendous lead, but in terms of percent, it's not that bad. Right? Okay, he's doing very well. Okay, let's see what our boy Tricks will do. He's he's doing fairly okay. He's played against he's played against the character a lot. Well, forget about the defensive here. Yeah, like how do you feel about the match so far? Match, I think uh, most likelihood, I think K Rule will knock down uh, Roy, but he will also lose a few steps. I mean, you know, if you lose, if if, if you're not that rare in the game, right? You'll most likely lose in general, but uh, depending on how uh, Tricks plays it out, you know? Oh, nah, he's good. He's good. Okay. He's good. I mean, he could have just did like uh, a combo that you can do from down throw since it's very. You can do down air right afterward into up smash or up air, or you can do a mix up where you bury them and then you hit them with jab. Oh, he got hit by the cheese. That was. The fresh <laughs> Parmesan region. Yeah, that's one of the. Carol has, I would say, some of the most, um, like, not degenerate, I would say, but one of the harder uh, ledge traps to deal with, right? Because that is a command grab. Like, it can grab you when you're slight, when you're slightly behind Carol. That's crazy. And the, the suction, right? The, it lasts for a very long time. On top of that, shooting out a, a very slow moving projectile, which stays out for a while. So he also has crown, he has decently big buttons, right? He has fast aerials. So he, his ledge guarding, uh, uh, edge guarding game is very solid, right? But one of the main things Kirill will do is that move because he can cover jump. And then if he's once he's done with that, he can drop down to cover get up attack, get up and roll. It's crazy. It's a really good. It's a really good thing to do. Of course, it's laggy. So if your opponent just jumps or, and waits for you to go down, that's the counterplay. You can just wait to do that. Okay. But now, now we are. Mr. Drink out. This is Volt. This Volt. He actually uses. Uh, he uses before, right? Before he used Cloud and Wolf, but now he's trying out Dark Samus. I believe he told me he's on use Dark Samus because he you like know, he has a. He likes Samus, first of all, and he feels that in the online environment, which is completely different from offline, uh, he feels that Samus will do a lot better. So let's see if that's true. Personally, I think in this matchup, Samus versus uh, K. Roll, it will be pretty difficult for Volt to sort of uh, throw out projectiles since K. Roll does have a reflector, and his side B is has a lot of priority over other projectiles. It's a very strong one. Okay. On top of that, his side B gives him armor. It's a lot of armor. So, in terms of zoning him out, uh, Samus isn't, isn't going to be able to do that effectively, but keeping him out, right? Keeping Kiro from approaching, that's what Samus can do really well as well. Right? He, uh, Samus has uh, forward air, has a tether aerial, has projectiles, missiles, bombs, everything that she needs to sort of keep him out from coming in. Okay. Oh, okay. so far it's pretty uh, equal. Yeah, so far it's pretty equal, I would say. Overall, though, the K is doing a very fantastic job at sort of approaching and going in using his projectiles properly. See, there's the armor. Dash attack just, you heard the clank. But something that you might not know about Kero's belly armor is that it has health. If it exceeds a certain point, it will break and he will be vulnerable to any type of attack. You can probably fully charge an smash and he will most likely die if he's at like probably above 50. Or maybe your character just, just has a lot of strong kill power. Okay, so Volt's doing very solid here. Okay, uh, misses the ledge trap. Carol's coming in. Down throw. 
God, very nice. I think Carol probably could have gone, gone for the kill there, but no. It's okay. He got a follow-up, and that's... Oh, very solid. So, Crown does not win against a full charge shot. <laughs> Nor will your armor really defend against that. So, that was very good for Volt. Punishing that very solidly. Okay. Now that Volt has the lead, he should focus on keeping it. Right, because now Carol's not going to be zoning that much. He's going to be trying to get in to secure a kill. A very solid cover with the jump from Carol. Very nice. Okay. Let's see what he's now that is even. Oh, yeah. Very good punish. Or throw, dash attack. Oh, I think he meant to like reverse it, but it's okay. Yeah. Nice punish. The funny thing about Crown is that if it beats out a projectile, or it beats out. It still goes forward, but it doesn't have a hitbox going forward after it clinks with something. But it does have a hitbox coming back. So, there's that. Okay. Okay, Carol just confidently going in. But Volt trying his best to get back on the ground. Hey, this is a ledge trap here. Should really focus on keeping it. Okay. He still has it. Okay. Now he... It's very hard for... Uh, it's very bad for Samus to be sort of above Carol. Carol has very strong moves that go up. Vertically, he has up smash, he has up air, right? He has an up tilt that's a decent anti air. So, trying being above here was not fun, but and vice versa. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Not only does that move have armor, the down smash from Carol, it also uh, moves his hitbox up so he can dodge moves like Samus's down smash that easily or that grab. On top of having a shockwave hitbox, it's, it's a very good down smash, I would say. Okay. Okay, so Carol now has a very tremendous lead. 150 might seem a lot to a lot of people, but not to Carol. Because he's, he's a very he's one of the heaviest characters in the game. And he has a very solid recovery as well. So he's not super susceptible to being uh edge guard. So the up air at 170, he doesn't care. He's fine. God, there's the armor I mentioned earlier. Very, very good to to throw out in certain scenarios. Okay. Uh, okay. It's very hard for, for Volt to sort of find an area to be safe because Carol just has projectiles. He can approach very well. Uh, uh, he hit him with the... Uh, oh, oh, but he's alive. Let's go. It's Let's not go. looking too good for the Samus, though, because I don't think there's much to uh, turn around with. Yep. I think he should have tried to escape that situation, but it happened. It's okay. Oh my goodness, this Carol's doing it. Amazing. He's doing great. He's wrecking. <laughs> So far, he's taken out two people by himself. So, Carol's on his last legs, though. So, whether or not he can take out... He, right now, the Carol's focusing on getting as much mileage as he can. Okay. And so far, he has a lot of mileage. Hopefully, our boys here can pick something up. Because now, we're down to our last person. All right. Three people have gone so far. So, hopefully... Right, hopefully... Maybe they can pull something out. If not, you know, regardless, GG's right, for, for, uh, against Dallas. Yeah. They did very well. This is week one. You know, we still have a lot of weeks coming up. So regardless of how this turns out, I'm proud of these players. Both for Dallas, GG's, yeah. you know, good job. But also our own players, we're going to focus on, you know, improving, right? So, but, but it's not over yet. I'm talking like it's over, but it's not over just yet. Let's see if we can... Pull this or back. Pull this around. Everybody likes a, a good comeback story, right? I believe we have one more player left in the roster, right? Yes, since it is 4v4, we've gone through three people. So, you know, hopefully we'll see something happen, right? Moment, I'm going to drink some water. So, seems to be Yoshi's Island. Not a lot of people like Yoshi's, actually. It's... Uh, wait, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Story. Regardless, I just call it Yoshi's. And the stage is very interesting because the platforms are higher than usual. The walls are straight. And there's a little slant at the ledge, making it so hard for certain characters to ledge trap properly. I personally really don't like the Yoshi's Island because of the slant. It really messes with my gameplay sometimes. Some people actually take advantage of it. Right. Since there's specific tech or uh, advantages from the ledge, but not a lot of people know how to take advantage of it completely. Okay. 
So Carol's at a uh, one stock deficit, which is, you know, it's pretty big, but not that big for such, for a heavyweight character. But against a character like Incineroar, who can end your stock no matter who you are in like a couple hits, you know, he, like, the Carol needs to be careful. But it, it can be difficult for uh, Incineroar to sort of get in since it's, he's such a slow, slow moving character, right? Correct. He has decently fast buttons, but Carol doesn't really care about those buttons since he does have armor. Okay. Oh my oh. goodness, that killed so early. Up, up air being so strong. Okay. Now all Carol needs to do is sort of get mileage and get some percent. Okay. But I have faith that our team captain here, Chaps dude, can make something happen. Okay. Oh, nice. okay. good punish on the dash attack there. Very nice for Caps too. Okay. The Carol trying to get in, not not successful with it. Vining with Nair. Okay. Crown, very strong. Okay. But how do you feel about this matchup personally, Trevor? This matchup, I feel like uh, it could go either way. The Shore in Cinderar is very slow, but he does have to pow to cover that up. Yeah, it's true. Cinderar has some of the strongest hitting moves in the game. Especially that command grab. That command grab is it's, ridiculous. It's disgustingly strong. If he gets a like a, if he counters say Carol's uh, oh, oh, very good punish actually. That match went by very fast. That was like one minute. That was a single minute. It's about what I would expect from Caps too. That's what I expect from Cinderar and Caps too. He wants to, wants to, he wants to get his over with. He wants to go. <laughs> but regardless, right? I think that uh, Incineroar did his job. Yes. Yeah. Alright, did the job right. And not only that, the Carol got a lot of mileage. Yeah, but I feel like we're starting to even out the match now. Yeah, well, hopefully. Hopefully. I believe, I believe uh, what's it called? They are on their last person now, if I'm not mistaken, because we went through, what's it called? We went through several people. I believe so too. Yeah, so let's see. Because this is uh, the KO should have been their third person, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully, hopefully we can pull something out, or regardless of whether or not we can. I think the matches today were fairly interesting. We got to see a lot, right? And oh right, two out of three. this is two out of three, right? This isn't your conventional. Uh, actually, this isn't your conventional. Uh, it's called free battle. They do sets. I completely forgot about that, but it's fine. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Right now we are on small battlefield. Small battlefield for uh, Incineroar is very good. I think that uh, if he can get his, he like he can land with an air, get a grab, down throw. He can either end it with fair back air, or he can sort of follow it up with upper upper ladders. But against Yoshi, actually. That's not super good because Yoshi has a unique thing with his double jump that you will see soon. Okay, so let's get into the game. How do you feel about this matchup, actually? Have you ever seen it before? Uh, not really. Honestly. No? Yeah. I think that, um, what's it called? I think Capsu might have the upper hand here depending on how the Yoshi plays. Like, if Yoshi just approaches all the time with, like, an aerial or just, like, your, your conventional buttons. Or if he, even if he tries to play like somewhat uh, zoner like with his eggs, all Capsu is gonna do is just okay, revenge. Give me that free damage. No, he'll invest it for later. But regardless, right? Let's see how this this Yoshi does. Okay, very interesting. Good parry from Capsu, very solid. Okay. Okay, chasing chasing the Yoshi. Usually it's the Yoshi not giving you any time to breathe, but this time. Uh, Caps is like, nah, you're not breathing today either. Yeah. I feel like, uh, I feel like it's going, I think Yoshi is slightly up on because of his mobility. Oh. Oh? There, had, there is a communication error. Uh oh. Can I just say that it's kind of funny that it, <laughs> there's a communication error when there's a Yoshi on the screen? Because <laughs> typically, uh, you know, in the online scene, not a lot of people like Yoshi. Actually. They find Yoshi to be very, um, what's it called? Um, very hard, very, very hard to deal with, because um, Yoshi has so much mobility and it's, it can be hard to react to. 
to his button swing. Nair is very fast, one of the fastest snares in the game. Uh, his mobility is insane. His, aer he has, his aerial mobility is actually the best in the game. Yeah, but if this is an online match, I think uh, Caps will have won. Maybe, maybe. Depending on how he uh, adjusts to how the Yoshi is playing. Because the Yoshi seems to be very flexible. He doesn't just run in and press buttons, right? He also sits back sometimes. Throws a bit of e uh, throws some eggs to, to sort of test and see what the opponent's gonna do, and then he tries to punish them. So I, I think he's fairly good. But will our, will our UOG caps to be better? Is my question. Okay, so there was a communication error earlier, and we apologize for that. I'm not sure if there's like a maybe somebody knocked over a switch or uh, you know Nintendo Online things, but we're gonna get right back into it. And once we get back into it, let us see. Okay, so from what we've seen so far, how, how do you feel about it now? The matchup in particular. The matchup in particular, I think it can go either way now. It can go either way now that you've seen it? Yeah. No. Like, on paper, right, uh, Yoshi has, uh, I would say, somewhat, like, slightly better buttons, or even, be like, even uh, better. I think about it right because Yoshi has buttons that he can use overall like his up tilt's really good combo tool down tilt's really fast sets up for uh, tech chase scenarios for tilt is also a combo tool uh, all his aerials can either combo into something or they're good as finishers or good to land with regardless depending on how you space it so it's it's interesting okay no, I think maybe they're they're uh, they're checking. Players? Or maybe they're switching players. No, I don't. I don't think that's the case because they already started with it, so I don't think it would be yeah. uh, very proper to swap after that. You know. So we'll see. Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. My throat's getting a little bit dry, so I gotta, gotta hydrate. I hope all of you at home are hydrating as well. But moving on. So, wait, the dead. Oh, uh, no. The disconnection was on our side. Unfortunate. Because the disconnect was on our side, uh, we have to forfeit a stock. So oh. now we're at a pretty solid disadvantage, unfortunately. Yikes. That is. That's unfortunate. Okay, but we're going back into it. We are. We were hardwired, but you know, online shenanigans, it happens. Okay. Unfortunate as it is. Yeah. So now that we're getting back into it, we must forfeit a stock. So we're down to one, I believe. I believe so. So this is a one to three deficit. I have faith that Caps 2 can make it happen, but uh, I think you know losing a stock is that can very much harm someone's mental state. So depending on how he feels about it, you know, we'll see. Okay. His Yoshi is also fairly good out of I believe I was told this earlier, like yeah the Yoshi's fairly soft. I'm like I'm a little bit skeptical at times, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, Yoshi's doing very well. Very solid down smash from Caps 2. Okay. I think this is especially bad because with Incineroar, you really want to go in, but when you I just have one I think, what's it called? I mean, not exactly. I mean, he can go in. No, Incineroar, he has very decent moves to land with. But typically, you... Oh my goodness, but I couldn't recover. That was typically, really cool. Incineroar wants the opponent to go in. Because of Incineroar's bad mobility, right? He wants opponents to go in, and they risk getting grabbed by the side beam. Like that. Look at that. Oh, this is the strong hit. Because there is like three types of side Bs, types of side Bs you can get. There's a strong version, that one. Wait, no, not three. Well, yeah, actually just two. So you can either mess it up. Wait, no, actually, this is my bad. My bad again. There is three. You can launch them up into the air, behind you, or you can just fail the move entirely. And they all have different applications, depending on what you want. Right? Oh my god, what a great stock. This is still very much possible. This is so possible. Oh, wait. I cursed it. I cursed it. 
I, cur I cursed it. No. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I shouldn't my have guy. said it. No. Okay. Regardless of whatever, I think that we did fairly good today. Okay. Unfortunate DC from our end, so we had to forfeit a stock. But regardless, all right. GGs to the Yoshi. Yeah. But if we had that, if we had that one more stock, you know, all I'm saying, all I'm saying. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, I think that. Okay. Something. Oh, wait, hold on. We're seeing. Right now, they're going. They're they're figuring something out right now. If we had one more stock, though. Okay. All I'm saying. If we had one more stock, we could have gotten that. We'd clutch that out. But now. Our switch wanted to give them a, ch a chance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 but it's fine, it's fine. I think that regardless of that one, uh, that one, you know, unfortunate uh, accident or technical uh, difficulty, I think that I think that uh, Captain did phenomenal. Okay. Oh. We're going back to tricks. I believe we are. Okay. Hmm. I think so. Okay, this is interesting. So, let's see how it does. Right now, they're in the middle of choosing stages, depending on what they choose. You know, we'll be fine. Okay, let's see. What will they choose? It's PS2, not too bad of a stage. Momentous? No, right now I'm pretty sure he's just like <laughs> looking around for a stage, and they're they're figuring it out. Which Ooh. I don't think there's a lot of super bad stages. It's, again, like stage pick is dependent on matchup. What's good, what's bad. You know, I, I personally don't uh, care what stage I'm on, but other people do, and yeah. sometimes it can significantly affect a match. Like for example, if you're going against a traditional fighting game character in this game, like Kazuya, Ryu, Ken. Uh, Terry, right? You don't exactly want to choose stages like FD or stages with a lot of like neutral, like no platforms because they're really good on the ground. So you don't want to be dealing with that too often, you know? Okay, what stages? Okay, let's see. Never seen that stage before. Or Port of This yeah. this game has many many stages, and that's not including their variants, the FD variant and then the battlefield variants. Right. Uh, some obviously some stages are obviously aren't legal. Like you know, it's like a, a, like a normal person would think like, why why do we have all these stages but we only pick like five six stages. Yeah. Right, we have uh, battlefield. We have small battlefield. We have FD. Right, we have Yoshi's. We have Smashville. We have uh, uh, town and city. Right? We have Yoshi's. Like, we, right, we have a handful of stages. Right, but a lot of all these stages, why we only pick them? Or right, there's also like Kalos, but it's mostly because to keep the keep it fair, quote unquote. Right, because certain characters have a lot of mobility, so they can circle camp other characters. Right, so that's why certain stages that have that are just not there. Like the really big stages, it would it would make it really hard to close out games against characters that can either like sort of plank or like just run away for most of the fight. So there's that. Okay, we're choosing. Music. <laughs> yeah, the music counter pick. Yeah, uh, certain people like choosing music. You know, if, you know, if you're not wearing your own headset or earphones to a tournament to listen to your own music some people do change the song just to fit their own preference which is fine but regardless this stage battlefield not bad for Roy not bad at all I would say uh, it's very it's, it's like one of those stages where if you more or less care about uh, whether or not it's good for your opponent because it's pretty good for Roy but for your opponent, let's see. Ready? It's a pretty standard stage I'd choose, besides FD. Yeah. And now we're th we're fighting against Ridley. Okay, very nice. Uh, what's the Ridley's name? Three, two, one, okay. 
Okay, let's see. Alright. A little bit of a button check real quick. Alright. Okay. I know that we talked about this earlier, but now how, how do you feel about these two characters? Hmm. Again, I feel like Roy can stuff the upper hand. Yeah, Roy does. I, I, I feel that as well. Roy does have the upper hand, but depending on how the Ridley does, right? Ridley has something that uh, has a few things that you know Roy does not have, which is more range, projectile, and multiple jumps. Like there's also like things like command grabs and whatnot, but those are the main things. And depending on how he really spaces himself, right? He can very much wall out the Roy from doing anything. But you know that mobility and that kill power from Roy is just enough. I feel like at times. So let's see. So back throw. Okay. I think also. Since Ridley's a big body, it also allows uh, Roy to combo him a little bit better. But since Roy's a fast wall, I mean, those characters tend to be combo food as well at times. Okay, so let's see. Okay, they're taking easy right now. They're just sort of just like poking at each other to see what's going on, right? Okay, there's a read from, from Trix. Okay, Ridley's taking it easy. Gets the command grab. Okay, now that command oh. grab is very strong, and ah, uh, that that's the game. That's yep. that it. One stock. Yeah, he angled he angled the forward tilt downward. Right. You can angle Ridley's forward tilt. It can go be it can be a slightly up, straight forward, or a little bit downward. If you angle it downward, it's very nice for catching people at ledge. Okay, so what the Ridley did was perfect. But let's see how uh, Trix adjusts to the Ridley. Okay. Okay, good good up smash for the Ridley. And now, oh my goodness, this Roy, uh, this Roy yeah, this really is getting really good. He's, he's performing a lot better, and that command grab as well is very strong. Uh, it can kill people fairly early, but not only that, you can choose to throw them early or just drag them across the entire stage. But there's Roy side B, which is also very strong. Okay, okay here's the combo. The, the, the Ridley either was holding in or the Roy was holding forward while doing the, the aerial, so it made it pop out the other direction. It's fine. Oh, the landing down would be how gutsy. But he blew the jab F smash. Beautiful. Turning the things back to the equals footing. This is very much doable for either player. Okay. I want to have faith in our boy tricks to clutch out this game. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. Oh, that was nice. Combo break from the Ridley. The up smash. Very gutsy. Okay. Oh, there's the command grab that we mentioned earlier. Very strong. Oh, that's punishable. That could be it. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. Uh, okay, very nice. Let's go, baby. Alright, so. He's going in. The Nair. Okay. Okay, okay the Ridley is doing a fairly decent job at trying to either force uh, Tricks to come in or just walling him out with things like Nair or Forward Tilt. Right. It can be very frustrating to play against, but the release is quite smart. But the nice. release side B is in a pretty bad direction. Or not bad direction, the wrong direction. And gets hard punished. Very good from Shrix, but also the Ridley did very well as well. Yeah. Did very well. That could have gone either way, but that, that could have gone over either way. Yeah. It was a very good choice by uh, Trix earlier. Mm -hmm. So, now that that's. Now. I think. Okay, so the, our Roy did very well. Okay. A lot. But right now he's at one stop. So let's see how we can. Who he's going to play against this time and what the stages are going to be. Okay. Let's see. So out of the stages, which do you think. You know, what, 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 do, what, do, what, do, what do you prefer? I personally just prefer FD because I don't like platforms. <laughs> Oh right, you play the traditional fighters, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Terry and uh, Ter there's Terry, there's Ryu, there's there's Ken, Ken uh, there's uh, Kazuya. So yeah, that makes sense. Why you would prefer the the uh, FG? No platforms, feet planted on the ground, simplicity. Yeah, I enjoy FG too, actually. Yeah. Like I had the opinion where I feel like FG is like, you know what? FG is the most even beautiful stage in the game like and I was like eh, actually you know what never mind I mean it's not <laughs> a lot of characters have um, an advantage on that stage but yeah. I just prefer FD because 
It's straightforward. Gets to the point. You ain't. You can't run away. You're forced to deal with me. <laughs> and I would also say that it's easier to play on for most characters because you don't have to worry about platforms. So, with, when it comes to platform, right? Platforms, they have their own little gameplay. They have their own little, like things that can be used mechanically. Like platforms can extend combos. Platforms can set up situations to get better kills. Platforms, you need to think about platforms and landing. So platforms is a really good thing to have, or a bad thing depending on who you are. So now we're seeing the Yoshi again. Okay. The Yoshi. So the Yoshi did really well earlier. I mean. You know, he got a stock donated to, to thanks to the Nintendo gods disconnecting, right? But it's fine. Okay, let's see how our boy Tricks will fare against this. He's also at the same deficit now. Three stocks to one. So, let's see. Okay. Stops out the Yoshi with Nair. Okay. Oh, uh, barely covers the air dodge and he waited for it too, unfortunately. That's okay. Like, when it comes to this matchup, it's going to be sort of hard to catch Yoshi simply because Yoshi has a lot of mobility, even against a character like Roy. Okay? Like, Roy has mobility, but Yoshi has a lot of mobility. Right? It makes Roy look like, you know, a character that's immobile. But very good catch from Trix. I think that was a zero to death, actually. Zero to death, yeah. yeah. Very good. Good cross up from the Roy. Okay, side B. No. Grab, punish, oh, and a communication no. error again. What happened? Was it our side again? I don't know. Oh my goodness. No, this this isn't. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that makes me kind. Of, that makes me. That makes me feel a certain type of way. Honestly, I'm not happy. Yeah, that's true. Like, we took a stock before like the game ended, but yeah. But now our boy tricks us out the game. I believe. <sighs> yeah, actually, that that makes me. That makes me absolutely livid. What the heck? Because I know that we do we do scrims here fairly often, but because I know that uh, one of the coaches here, uh, Coach Adrian, he does play here fairly often. Like, he played here fairly often. He practiced against, like, different regions. So, if there were any issues with it, we would have known. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, yeah. so Nat Type A, right? Our, our, our connection is fairly good. So, I don't, I don't understand why this is happening. Could it be just maybe, like, hardware issue for the Switch? I'm not too sure, but... It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just we'll we'll take it and move on. Take it and move on. Okay, so we're gonna get back to it fairly soon uh, and move on. But I think that it's very <laughs> it's very funny that our boy Tricks got easier to death, and then not to mention it was the Yoshi's first match again that happened on it. <laughs> yeah, actually that. That is a weird coincidence. It, like, it's it happened again with the Yoshi when it was a one stock deficit. I think that's that's a weird coincidence. Uh, oh. okay. Now we just straight up can't connect. What? But we're wired. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. What's happening? Uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be figured out fairly soon. Maybe it's like, maybe it's the dog. Maybe it's something else. Hopefully, 
Hopefully it's not the land adapter itself. Maybe it could it could be the land adapter itself. I know that for like uh, if you ever heard the, the Switch o OLED OLED O L O L E D the new one yeah the new one the the dock comes is is like a is like a land adapter yeah yeah like uh, it's it's built into it so that's in a, I also like the way it looks but maybe it's superior maybe we should invest in that at some point but that's whatever it's okay so now that so so now that we're getting back into it we're connected again to it um, uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do this I think we have we might have to forfeit that one too yeah yeah Okay, so now that we're getting back into it, uh, hopefully we can figure out who's playing next, and then we'll see if we actually clutch it out. If we don't clutch it out, regardless, GG's, you know. But uh, right now we're we're facing like a two stock. We lost two stocks due to connection issues, so it's very, very unfortunate, honestly. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, hopefully, whoever we send out next. You can sort of, you know, clutch it out, or if not, regardless, it's okay. But, but, I think regardless of whether or not that's the case, I think the Yoshi player is playing phenomenally. Agreed. I think, uh, you know, Dr Trix was on fire. He was doing really well. I got a zero death, and then... And then the Yoshi disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, uh, we still disconnected. Yeah. And... Uh, Because there's no way, right? It's this. It's this because it's the same room, right? Uh, if it wasn't the same room, then because the thing is, right? If the room closes too, because we know it's us, because we're being booted from the room, mm -hmm. you know. So we, what's it called? We are sort of. What's it called? We know that it's us because if we go back to the same room, right? It's the same code, same password. Same code that was used before, before, because if you remake a room, the code changes. Yeah. So that's how we know, you know. So. So right now, what's it called? Let's see. Hopefully we can make it back. If we don't, it's fine. <sighs> it's Dark Samus this time. It'll be our boy Bolt versus mm. the Yoshi. The Yoshi is doing phenomenally. The K roll did phenomenally. I think we did fairly good too. But regardless, you know, let's see what happens. Hey man, it's all good. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> but oh, oh my god, that tilted me a little bit, but it's okay. So, moving forward. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see if we punch it out. This is on Town and City. Mm. I guess. The Yoshi player. The Yoshi player does phenomenally. The Volt, uh, our boy Volt. This is a new character that he picked up, so he might be sli at a slight disadvantage. But regardless, let us see. Let us see. Okay. Three, two, Talent one, City 2. About them choosing the stage, I'm not too sure, but how do you feel this, about this matchup here? Uh, for the matchup, I think the, I think the Yoshi has a better advantage. Yeah. I think so too. I think that Yoshi, the way he, uh, the way Yoshi can sort of um, use projectiles like that, see like that, it goes right into Samus's blind spot. You know, like at that 45. Yeah, agree. The 45 angle. So Yoshi can either jump there or straight up um, just throw eggs there in that direction. And Yoshi has double jump. Uh, for Yoshi's double jump, it has armor. So even if you, Samus knows. Yoshi doesn't really have to care about it. Okay, so right now the Yoshi's doing a splendid job getting in, right? Bolt sort of struggling to sort of get the Yoshi off, but I think that was a little misinput from the Yoshi. It's okay. He even got his jump stuffed out. Okay, good dash time from the Yoshi. Oh my god. Okay, 
Yeah, Yoshi can chase really high up, so uh, our boy Volt needs to be very careful about how he sort of lands because Samus is floating, right? So yeah. she'll be up there. Uh, Samus will be up there for a while, Dark Samus. But Samus can also use double jump or down B to sort of stall. Okay. Right, good catch on the double jump. Now Yoshi doesn't have a jump, no air dodge, so Volt should have taken advantage of that, but it's okay. It's fine. And regardless, right? Um, okay, now that was the ledge. I'm seeing Yoshi can use like eggs to sort of just cover himself coming back to ledge, which is very strong. Okay, but one of Yoshi's bad points, right, is that his rolls are really slow. So you saw him like roll very slowly, and then Volt reacted to and did to down smash. Very solid for Volt. Okay, right now. Now they're playing out a sort of slow game, right? Seeing who's going to jump in, who's going to throw out a projectile, whether or not Samus is going to throw something out. It's fine. He catches it. He's catching the Yoshi very well so far. Bolt's doing very well. He still has three stocks. If he can get, if he can end the game with three, three stocks, that would be amazing. But, okay. you know, I curse it, so my bad. <laughs> I mean, okay. we still have a stock advantage, so that's good. Yeah. But, I mean, regardless, right? If he could just win with as many stocks as he can, that'd be really good for the team, okay? If the Yoshi just takes as many stocks as he can, then that'll be good for their team, so it's fine. Oh, nice stuff. Good Ooh. back air. Very nice. Let's good okay. input. <laughs> good, <laughs> good button. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that was really good. Like, he, he knows that the Yoshi keeps trying to jump over him, right? So he stuffs the Yoshi out back air. Because Yoshi's armor, right? It's not, it's not like regular armor. Because there's different armor variants, like I mentioned earlier. Like there's, uh, like for example, there's Carol's belly armor. There's heavy armor. There's super armor. There's tough guy armor. And then there's like subtractive armor. There's so much type. There's like so many different types of armor in this game. It's crazy to keep track of. But for Yoshi's subtractive armor, what it does is that essentially it, there's a cap on how much damage he can take. And whenever you take a hit, right? So let's say that he gets hit by, um, you know, Samus's charge shot. Okay, the knockback and that he would have received is taken away from the max amount that uh, the double jump armor can take. So like, it'll probably like change the knockback by like half from from normal. You know, so there's there's that. Very interesting uh, mechanic. In fact, I don't know the full like math and like specifics of it, but that's from what I know from my own personal experience. Uh, that's what I know how the move works. But the funny thing is, since it's a double jump, you can just foot stool him. So, <laughs> and it's really sad to see Yoshi just sort of try to press a button because typically they'll try to armor through something and then press Nair or whatever and then they just get bap and they're sent off stage and then they just die <laughs> like yes yeah <laughs> but a, uh, yeah, a very unique uh, mechanic of it is that if you do uh, egg throw while doing it it actually boosts the up beat even further hmm. yeah so it's very it's a very interesting mechanic but that's that's enough about Yoshi he's not here anymore yeah. let's see what uh, let's see what Dallas uh, picks next because right now we're still, I'm pretty sure we're still out of deficit, so <sighs> let us see what happens. Ah, uh, it's because the rob, rob again. The Rob. Okay, well, how do you feel about this matchup? I have never seen this match before. Me neither. <laughs> so let's see, let's see how, how they do. Yeah. So he has, he's, just, he's a forfeit one stock right now. So this is still very much doable, even with a with the deficit. All uh, all he should be focusing on focusing on is just sort of what's the word? Um, taking as many stocks as he can, or if possible, win. Okay. Yeah. And in this, they both have a decent amount of projectiles. But the thing is, is that Rob is better at going in, and he has better buttons up close. So when Rob when Rob does get close, Samus should really be thinking about how to deal with those those buttons. Especially Rob, uh, especially uh, Samus, he has to be really careful because Rob's uh, frames seem very very quick. Yeah, they are like down tilts very fast, forward air is very fast, and Rob up air is decently fast. The only thing that I would say is pretty slow um, is is that uh, is back air. 
and maybe Nair, but Nair is really safe on shield because Nair has a very good amount of startup, but uh, you don't really want to be throwing out, that out too often, even if it is safe. Okay, good. Down tilt from our boy. Volt. Oh my god. Okay. Right now, it's... I th the Volt's doing fairly well. He just needs to be very careful about what he he's throwing out and sort of just focus on you know, ending stocks in a very quick manner. Not really quick, but like very consistent, very methodical manner. Because that's what Samus is, right? Yeah. She wants to trap you, keep you in a corner, and then punish your, your mistakes. Or whittle you down. Okay. Right now, like, it seems that Volt's fiending for like a back or something just to end the stock. But he doesn't really need to force it. So he should be very careful since he's also at a very high percent. He could die to rob uh, up smash or up air or down throw up smash. Or a raw aerial like back air. Now he's at up air percent. Okay, so he should be extremely careful. Good cross up. That was a, that was a hard punish, but he dropped Ooh. it. So it's, yeah. Okay, up throw kills. Yeah. It's very solid. Good for Volt. So now it's even. Now all... Uh, Volt should really be focusing on is sort of whittling down the opponent and getting as much as he can, or hopefully getting a stop. Right? Since he is at a deficit, he needs to be very careful. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to approach. You're good. You're good. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So now that you're seeing this happen, oh, oh good catch for the good catch for the rub. Okay. But what do you think? How how do you feel about this right now so far? Right now, I feel I still feel pretty confident uh, about our team. Uh, I feel like Salmon still has the. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay never mind. <laughs> no, we don't, uh, I was really good for the for the Rob. I ain't gonna lie. That was solid. Okay. Yeah. Rob has some of the best ledge trapping in the game. Why? Because that little top that I mentioned before. Not only is it a projectile, but it also stays on the ground and has an active hitbox too. So it's very hard for certain people, certain characters to deal with it, and just hard in general for players to deal with it if they don't have experience with it. Okay. On low profile, the Naren hit with the back hit of the down smash. Very nice. Very smart. Okay. Up tilt at max range too. That was safe. That was super safe. Okay. Yeah, the Rob was kill. Yeah, the Volt ca caught the rolling again. Okay. Well, not really rolling again, but he's he's been. He's catching on to how the Rob likes spicy. He did a move and then he rolled in again. That's whenever uh, you know, Volt's really close. So he's kind of. Oh. Uh, that's what I mentioned earlier. You can't just be pressing buttons like that when you're trying to land. So you gotta be careful. But Volt did good. Even at a stock deficit, he, he evened it out and now Rob only has one stock. Okay. That's a good thing. So right now, uh, uh, Dallas is up by one. So hopefully we can pull this out. And if we do get disconnected when the Yoshi's playing, uh. now we know. <laughs> okay, now we know. If the Yoshi plays again and we disconnect, all I'm saying is that there's a weird coincidence going on. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So so right now we're doing right now we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Okay. So right now uh, we're gonna see who's going up next. I'm excited to see who's going up next. Hopefully, we get an exciting game next. So, so far, how do you feel about us versus Dallas? How do you think we're faring? Uh, I know we're at deficit right now, but yeah, we uh, I still think there's a chance we can turn this around. That's what I'm saying, right? As long as we don't get any disconnects, we're good. Dallas is yeah. doing extremely well too. Like so you said, they're, no, they're, they're, not, they're, they're nothing. They're nothing to like scoff at. They're they're doing really good. Yeah. Okay. So right now, our sage chosen is PS2. Where's Kalos? I love Kalos, bro. Come on. Okay. So now that we're here, right? Hopefully we don't get any disconnects. Uh, maybe. Let's see who's gonna play. Okay. Oh, Mitro. Hashtag free Mitro. Let's go. Okay, Steve again. Steve, we got to see Steve. Okay, so I think Steve on what's it called it's PS2. So PS2 is what a lot of people would say is the most neutral stage in the game. It's not too big, it's not too small. There's two platforms, so it's a lot of people's comfort pick. Okay, is it Steve's comfort pick? 
maybe. Uh, is it Mitro's? Most definitely. That's something that a lot of people just grab. Like, you want to just go PS2, Pokemon Stadium 2, let's go. I just banned that stage in tournament just <laughs> for the sake of it because I don't like going to PS2, even though it's like the most even stage in the game. Or the most. Yeah, the most even. Excuse me. So, okay, this is, we're getting into it. Let's see. So. Uh, it, was a, it was a little technical error, but it's fine. So, how do you feel this matchup? Mm, fairly confident. Yeah. I think that uh, it's going to be hard for Rob to do much, but not only. Oh my god. Is this the first time? I guess. Uh, with somebody other than Yoshi, yes. <sighs> you know, Excuse me, we have connection issues. Okay, so can can you hold this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. Excuse me, folks. We are in experiencing some technical issues that we are helping out with a little bit. Sorry. Excuse me. There's the the stream starting thing. All right. Okay. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Right now we're experiencing some weird issues. Uh, we have changed out the LAN. Hopefully it is now a lot better. Sorry for that, folks. All you folks, beautiful, handsome folks at home. Let us see. Okay, we're back in. Let's go, baby. Okay, so since it started at, like, the first, the first part of the game, like, they didn't even start playing, I don't think it counts. Since they weren't technically starting. Yeah, I don't think they even hit each other yet. No, the the, the Rob was in the middle of testing, so I don't think it counts. All right. Goodbye, Rob. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Looks like we're starting. He's eating his meat. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna start off going with. Yeah, see, it just bounces yeah. off. <laughs> it doesn't even break it, but that does. Nice. Good start from Mark. Okay. From Mitro. Hashtag free Mitro. Okay. Okay, so yeah. So what Mitro should be doing is sort of approaching it very carefully, since one of the disadvantages I feel that uh, Steve does have is that his approach options are very iffy, right? It's either he goes in all the way or he doesn't go in at all. He can go if he's confident about it, like maybe he can walk in and start using his sword, right? Fortal, jab, 
or maybe he can just do a burst launch from side B like that. And combo it a smash. Or maybe even forward air, grab, start combo, and there you go. But it's it can be difficult at times because if he does it too much, he can get stuffed out like that. Because minecart is doesn't have like super armor or anything. It just it's just a really fast move. Oh my god, he did three smash decks in a row. Oh, TNT, okay. But it doesn't matter because he's being comboed. Okay, Anvil, side B in. Good back. His backer is so strong, and especially when it's paired with diamonds, it's so good. Oh. Okay, back air. All he needs is one stock. One start. One stock is good, but he shouldn't rush it. Okay, he should take it very easy. Like that. Gets the minecart and a kill is very good. Let's go. Let's go, baby. A great play by uh, Nitro there. Yeah, I mean, it's a ver it's, uh, he caught him when uh, when Rob was coming in. So yeah, it's clean. Very good. Good job. Could have got a free stock, but I'll take it. <laughs> hey, like a wise man once said, we take this. Okay, don't matter no more. Okay, yep. so moving forward, now that we now we now we've beat the Rob, uh, we're starting still at one stock, not one stock, two stocks, two stocks. So last time, right, a bolt. Yeah, he just he was very close to winning, but he did not clutch it out. So let's see if our boy Mitro can pull it out, pull pull through, pull through for the team. Okay. I mean, Dallas is doing fantastic too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, they got a pretty solid team, but you know, I'm voting for our boys here. You know, the boys at home. So let's see, let's see how well Mitro can sort of pull through. I think Steve is a character that can do that. He doesn't need to really approach too often. And if he does get a punish, like jab for tilt, you know, he can get a lot of damage or even a stock if he's really good at pulling out the combos. So let's see if he can. If he can't, that's fine. All he needs to do is sort of take as much as he can and then play as patiently as he can. You know, whittle him down and then eventually hard punish him when he does make a mistake. You know, when the next player makes a mistake. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. What stage? These gentlemen on the on Dallas side will choose because since they lost, they they get to choose a stage now. So. So. How do you feel about the game so far? Sure. I feel like Mitro's on a really good lead. He is a he has a very he, I think he's doing fairly well. Right? I don't think he's he's done bad. Yeah, he hasn't done I bad. Know. And then in the matchups with Steve, I don't think there are any that are particularly that bad for him. Yeah, like I have faith in Mark because last last season he did spectacular. He was MVP a lot in the in the Nace, in the Nace championships. So Ooh. now he's fighting against the Carol, that monster of a man, the crocodile, alligator, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. But so, common, I feel like this will go one uh, very well for Steve. I think so too. I, I don't think that Carol can really just straight up approach. Yeah. But, but you know, sometimes Carol doesn't need, need to approach. He has Crown, right? He has Neutral B. But I'm not exactly sure if it breaks through the wall. I think it might just bounce straight off. Let's see. Yeah, it just bounces straight off. Yeah. So Steve can sort of turtle. As much as he wants, right? But oh. you know, Carol needs to be very <laughs> oh. careful. Otherwise, he'll just take 50% like that. That's a free 50, right? And then if it happens again, you know, he'll take another 50, and he could possibly die. Right now, he has diamonds, I believe, right? No, I think he has he, gold. Yeah. No, he has gold, but I think he built something. I think he might have iron. Ooh, now he has I diamonds. Got okay, so. Ah, uh, so close. I think he should definitely focus on putting up a wall before he decides to, you know, do some, anything at the crafting bench. But, okay, now Carol, you know, because he's such a heavyweight, even like a, a, a deficit like this would be big against other characters, but against Carol, it's not. It's basically just even. Because Carol, not only is he heavy, right? He also has a lot of kill power. True. Okay. Okay. If Carol can just get to him before he. Has oh, oh, that's a star kill. <laughs> it's so awkward because it, it, Steve doesn't even say anything. It's just, it's just quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Burst. Okay. This is good. All Mark needs to do is get as much percent, not much percent, as many stocks as he can, 
to to either even out or maybe even clutch it. Okay, if he is able to clutch it, it'd be so good. Oh, he drops the combo. It's okay. I think Mark should really focus on the ledge trap there instead of uh, just going trying to get materials every single time because a ledge trap against against certain people is very strong like that. See? No, see. Uh, so the TNT it, it, it worked. Okay. All right. It might have looked like a mistake, but actually it just it just it tilted the K roll so he SD. Okay. Listen. It's so good. Ooh. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. No, oh, you can't do that. No. <laughs> you can't do that against Gabriel. No. Actually, uh, uh, since technically, technically, Anvil is a projectile. Projectiles inherently don't have that much priority over uh, aerials. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So it just went straight. You saw it, right? You saw yeah, the I zoom. Saw it. it went straight through Anvil and just hit Steve. So. You gotta think twice before using Anvil as a as an option to cover yourself. All right, he already used jump, so he didn't have jump. So all he could do is just air dodge. True. Yeah. So that that that's what's that that's what his uh the, that's one of his only options. The only only other option is to Anvil, which is not recommended. But now he knows. <laughs> now he knows. Now he will never forget because we caught it on stream. <laughs> okay. So. If we're able to clutch out a win here, it'd be really good. Not the 2-0. <laughs> not the not the 2-0, but close though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. going back okay. to Caps 2. Going back to Caps 2, our boy, our, our pride and joy. Caps 2, bringing it in. Okay, okay the run back against the K-Roll. I think. Did he fight K-Roll earlier? No, right? No. I don't think he did. No, actually, no. No, he did. Yeah, he but it was it was at a pretty pretty big deficit. So now they're even. Well, not really even. He lost the stock. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Carol. So now all Capstone needs to do is just take out this stock without losing losing one, and then you know we'll be able to clutch it out. All good. Oh, a little bit too early there. I need to read it for another one. Oh, but he gets that one though. Okay, so now this is this might seem like a big percent lead for the Carol, but all all Incineroar really needs to do is get that one hit in. You know, look at that. Yeah. When did he get that percent? <laughs> yep. Okay, back throw, very strong. Okay. They actually buffed uh, Incineroar's recovery used to be really bad before, but then they buffed it. So now his Incineroar, his uh, recovery is actually pretty good now. Okay. All right. He gets the the command grab. He's off stage. Here's the less trap. Well, he's gonna jump. Usually get up, yeah. One more, one more, one more com common options. Oh my goodness! Oh. Yes. Let's go! I'm sorry, that might be biased, but you know that looked cool. So no, sorry. that no, yeah, I'm on the same page. <laughs> that was good. That was really solid. This is a f that's a free edge guard if you do it correctly against characters with uh, recoveries like that. Very nice. So now I believe the the score is one one, I believe. I think so. Yeah, I think it is. So well, I mean, regardless of whether or not, we'll see it pretty soon, and then we'll clear it up with the audience once we're hit. So let's let's see. No, actually, it is one one. Boy tricks is going up again. Let's go. Okay, so now it's not two out. It's one one. If we don't get any disconnects. You know, pray we don't get any disconnects. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what happens. How do you think we might? Do you think we have a solid chance of winning this time? I think we do. Yeah. But I think there's also one. We have one player that hasn't even played a single match yet, right? Yes. We. Oh uh, well, I mean, their team is. Uh, for their for their team in general, it's much bigger than ours, actually. Oh. Yeah. So they might just swap to like a different team. I'm not too sure. So uh, they might swap their team around just to uh, just to play it out like that, or they might not. I'm not too sure, honestly. 
So, you know, regardless of what happens, I, you know, I'm, I'm confident that our team can adjust and then properly play it out. It's one one, so I have faith that uh, we can, we can here at UOG we can clutch it out. Okay, let's see what stage, what stage are these fine gentlemen gonna choose? Looks like they're gravitating towards Smashville. I mean, for Roy, I mean, FD is good. I mean, I think it's good for juggling basic combos, stuff like that. Uh, if you do want to choose a stage, uh, I would say I think Small Battle feel good. FD maybe uh, Smashville, you know, small stages so that he can really instill his pressure properly. But if he's fighting against zoners, smaller stages, of course, but against maybe other characters that have similar speed to him, he might want to keep it bigger so that he has room to adjust and move around. So we'll see. You know? Well, from what I see, small battlefield. Oh, oh, music. oh the music counterpoint, let's go. Ooh. Corneria, uh, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Yeah, it's a really good. It's, it's fan favorite, top ten, I would say. Okay, let's see who they're gonna throw out. Yeah. We're gonna see the Yoshi first. Get those disconnects out of the way, already. Yo, yo, yo. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's, oh, Ooh, they have Terry. They have a Terry. Oh, you should, you must be happy about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's see. So. So they're just gonna test it out for like 15 seconds. See what happens. And, Let's see. Honestly, you know, this might be like off topic, but I don't really like the green Terry skin. Oh, yeah, me too. I yeah, agree. He looks like a giant uh, booger. Yeah, yeah I, I, I ain't going to play the other person. That skin don't, it don't, it don't hit the same. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Let's get into it. So, in this, uh, I know that uh, Baron has played this matchup. Not Baron, but Tricks. Yoji Tricks. So, he's he's played this matchup a couple of times already. Okay. It seems that this Terry knows okay. what he's doing. Okay. Yeah. So. Who wins? I think that, uh, depending if, I mean, I think that Terry has the better ground game overall. Uh, I think just, just the traditional fighters in general, they have like very solid buttons on the ground, very fast, and then they're special cancelable. So if he if he happens to get a move, whether it's on shield, whether it's or, or if it's on hit, then they get a free. They essentially just get a free combo. Like, yeah, see, okay. that's a little, okay. yep. yeah, see, right there. And if they and then if Terry gets this uh, this special uh, what's it called this special state right, it's called go mode. Go mode, yep. At a hundred percent and plus, he gets access to special moves that absolutely blow up the opponent. And there are combos into them too, so because it's technically a special. So, oh, oh my god! See now he has go mode. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go mode. Oh, nice. the wake up. The wake up bus uh, Buster Wolf. I can't believe he just did it. Oh my god, he tried doing it again. Yeah, it's armor, so oh, it's great. very strong. Right now, uh, if he gets a, like, say, uh, there are a lot of moves that combo into it. Like, one of the, like, I'll go over it. Like, oh, no, I'm not gonna go over it when it's gone. <laughs> okay. But, like, there are moves that you can do. Like, if you get hit by a down tilt from Terry and he has go mode, it can go down tilt, jab, jab into Buster Wolf. Or. Or four tilt into Buster Wolf, right? You could do that. Yeah, the tank is pretty hitting that pretty consistently. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, technically, it's a very simple combo to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if like intermediate to like high level Terriers are able to do that, like without making a single mistake every time. Okay, so side B. Okay, get him in the air to juggle. Yeah, that Nair is pretty safe. So uh, you gotta be careful against Terry's Nair. Uh, here's the less trap. Grab, four throw. That's punishable. Yo. Ah, uh, should have just mashed it. <laughs> should have just mashed yeah, it. Yo. It's a good move to match. <laughs> but right now they're both pretty even. Like even now, like Terry's capable of getting uh, KO'd by like jab into back air at ledge, or maybe a very well placed smash attack. But Terry can just get down tilt, jab, jab, or burning knuckle like that. That was a nice input. A very good overshoot from uh, the Terry. Like he just did a burst off and then it, yo, it worked because. Uh, since our boy Trix was playing careful, you know, he got just smacked for moving around, so it happened. Oh no, Terry has go. He can never oh, mind. Okay. Yo, my com Ooh. my commentator curse skills are literally unmatched. Unparalleled. Let's go, baby. Okay, so 
Ooh. Moving forward. Okay. Right now, the Terry's do pretty good. Yeah. Right. Maybe Trick's a little bit flustered, but as long as he plays it out smart, right? Throws all the buns at the right place, obviously. Then he can pull it out, right? Cross-ups against this character is no bueno. No, they yeah. have this uh, special mechanic called auto turnaround, so... They can I've... just turn around and smack you for doing it. Whoa! The flub, yo! I hate when that happens. You hate to see it happen, but, you know, like I said earlier, there's the, the unique quote. We take those. <laughs> we take those. We take those. We take those and we we take it to the bank, baby. So, okay. So, we want the first one. Mm. Okay. Now we're on, a, we're on a stock deficit. But I have a confidence that our boy Trick's going to take at least one stock. Yeah. Just one stock. Just one stock. Come on. Okay. Let's go. So. <sighs> Let's see. Who Dallas sends up next? If it's the Yoshi, I'm going to cry because we. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking, dude. It's just uh, really funny that we got two disconnects with the Yoshi. It makes me, especially when we're at a one stock deficit. So mm -hmm. you know. So we'll see. We'll see who they throw up. Maybe they'll throw up the Carol this time because Carol's maybe done really well every single time. So, or maybe they'll just wait till he's a. Uh, you know, keep him as anchor. Or oh, I wonder if they're gonna fraud something that we don't even know about. Yeah, that's true. Like we didn't even know there was Terry, so yeah. that's the first time we've seen it. So maybe they'll throw out Kazuya all of a sudden. <laughs> Bro, they'll throw out like Wii Fit or <laughs> throw out a Wario Ray or something like that. So we'll see. Hopefully, I have faith. I have a respectable amount of faith that Baron can take at least one stock. Oh, I thought Luigi's Mansion was the band stage. It is. Yeah, he hasn't chosen it yet. He's just hovering right now. They're they're not, they're go, they're choosing stages. So since they lost, they have to choose the stage. So. Yeah. You know. Typically, typically that's the case. Okay. Right now we're waiting and seeing what they have. Hopefully. They... Who do you think that uh, Tricks would do the best against on their teams from what we've seen so far? No, we, they could pull something like super crazy, but you know we'll see. From what we've seen so far, I want to say it's the K roll. Yeah, I want to say yeah. I was about to say K roll yeah. actually. So I have faith. I mean, he hasn't done stellar. He didn't do stellar against the the Carol last time. So let's see if he adjusted and will now do a lot better. Okay. Oh, bloody tears. Very solid sound choice. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So one stock. Uh, like now they're at one stock, or not? They are, but like we're at one stock. So let's see. All he needs is one stock. If you can just take one stock, that's good. Now throw. Yeah. Okay. That's the combo. Okay. Juggle. Go oh. really well spaced fair from tricks. Okay. Good grab. Good grab. All right. So right now, I th Trick should be focusing on just like taking as as much hits uh, against the Carol as possible. But also just the Carol's also playing fairly smart. Right? He's trying to stuff it out, but he's getting you know he see uh, he just baited out the nair like that. Very solid from Trix. Okay. But recovery. What is the less trap? Neutral get up. Yeah. The the Carol seems to be neutral get up doing neutral get up a lot. Right, very easy to convince, but yeah, dude, that killed so early for a super heavy. That's why Roy is a good character. No, this is the side B, not yeah. not anything else. Just side B, right? <laughs> side B is uh, a, you know. I mean, side, side side his side B actually kills earlier than a uh, limit cross slash from Cloud. Isn't that crazy to think about? Like yes, a, a super powered up move does not kill as early as like one single sword boy side B. And even while still kills decently early, but not that early. Anyway. That has to be fresh. Okay, that's back throw, yeah. Okay, so Tricks already completed his objective of getting at least one stock. And, and I cursed him. Sorry. <laughs> it's, I was like, let's send off. Like, okay, you can, you can, you, you can take your break now. <laughs> oh man. I, I, uh, I'm a prophet, I guess. You know, I have that. I have that special ability to sort of send people along their merry way, like a Grim Reaper or something. Apparently, 
I mean, that, that's just commentators in general. They, they tend to curse, like, sets with statements. Like, oh, this person's going to win and then they lose or something like that. Yeah. So, okay. And now that uh, Trix already completed his objective of getting at least one stock, let's see who we sent up. Because we've already had, like, a stock deficit against this Carol before, but he still did extremely well. Yeah. So, uh, or we had a stock deficit. Uh, deficit. I mean, he had a stock deficit, and he still did very well. So let us see who is going out next. Steve again. It's Steve. I think. I think out of everybody, I think uh, Mark, uh, right? Our Steve player. He did the best. Yeah. Uh, everybody, I think so far. So far. So. Plus, it's a it's a very favorable matchup, especially when it's online, where like there's delay and lag and whatnot. So, I think Mark can do very spectacularly well, especially since the last one. Especially against a K rule. Yeah. So, let's see. So let's get into it. PS2. Let's see the K rule SD very fast. Yo. Bye, Kay. Okay, so just two, just two to three stocks. All right, let's go, baby. Okay, so Mark is already setting up his little wall. He got, he got, he has iron on deck, so that means he's gonna do a lot more damage. So let's see if he'll just work with it or try to get more materials. I think that he should probably just play it out. Yeah. Okay, he got a lot more iron. So far, nice, good for Mark. Oh, oh, he almost had that. Almost, I think he maybe just, he knew, but he just did a little bit too early. Ah, uh, a little bit late from the kill, that's fine. Okay, so good Mark. Mark's doing phenomenally. He's doing great. Very late match from uh, the Carol. Oh, I think that would have been a really big opportunity for, for Mark, but it's fine. Oh, he got diamonds on deck. Let's go. Diamond sword. Oh my god, look at the belly armor. Look at the cracks. Oh, that was a bit awkward, but it's fine. Okay, so Mark all, uh, Mark already has all the uh, Mitro. I mean, Mitro has all the materials oh. that he needs, but he actually blows himself up, so he makes he has made me feel a little bit sad. <laughs> it's okay though. He got more he got more diamonds on deck. So now all he needs to do is chill and get probably more iron, because all he has is dirt, wood, and stone. Okay. So he needs iron for uh, better things like Anvil or mine or Minecart. So he's doing really well right now. He has a very solid lead. Well, I mean, he already had a lead, but like, what I mean by lead, I mean more of, you know, he, he's up technically by a stock. What? And all the diamond stuff he's getting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's gonna go below. Yeah. Chill out. Okay. So now he's just getting more materials. No. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's that's. that's, that's oh, he was so close. He was yeah. so close to living. But it's okay. It's good. Still yeah, all he needs to do is take this one stock from the Carol, and he's good. With as many stocks as he can. Okay, you guys. Redstone on deck. He has a lot of iron. I think he should focus on pushing his uh his aggression, or just like playing it out instead of just focusing on getting materials now. Yeah, I know that about uh, Mitro a lot. He likes to collect materials whenever he can. I mean, that's just the Steve experience, honestly. Yeah, but he almost does it too much. To a point, yeah. I think he probably could have started with like... Oh, that's super punchable, yeah. That's food. Okay, he's back on stage. Oh. The diamond pickaxe back air. Very strong. Very good from, from Mitro. Let's go! So now that that's on, I'm, I'm very curious to see who they send up next against yeah. Steve. Because a lot of those characters. Uh, who do you think did best against uh, Mark or Mitro? My bad. Did he go against Rob yet? I believe he did. Yes. I want to say the Rob. Okay. 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 I, can, I can respect that. Because Rob has a lot of buttons. He can break the the walls very easily, and then if the wall does break he can shoot lasers he can angle the lasers yeah so it can sort of like go right through or just grab your and try to throw it toss it through but it's fine now that mark is mark my show oh my god so similar my bad 
is at now a stock deficit. Uh, all he needs to do is take as many stocks as he can or clutch it out. One of the two. If he can clutch it out, perfect. If he if he takes as many stocks, fine. But let's just root him on and hope he does well. But sorry, I got this tissue in the mic. There we go, sorry. Newport City. Hmm. Newport City, yeah, that, that, that's a, that is a, what's it called? Mother, from the Mother series that oh. Ness, Ness is from. I never actually played the game, but from what I hear, it's pretty good. So, we'll see. Okay. So, who do you think they'll send out next? Um, I'm hoping it's either the Rob or the, I forgot what the other one was. Nah, dude, it's the Ridley. Maybe the Ridley. Yeah, maybe the Ridley or Rob. Let's what we're, see. What we're about to see. <laughs> oh. It's the Yoshi. I forgot Yoshi. about the Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I completely so, forgot about it too. <laughs> so you think we'll disconnect? Please no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, we're not gonna disconnect. We actually, I think maybe it was a Ethernet wire issue, so we swapped that out. So maybe it's better. Goodbye, Steve. Okay. Uh, he's eating food. Why? Why did you break the wall you just set up? I don't understand. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. It's fine. Uh, he has a lot of iron, actually. It's crazy. Nice. Swat him away. Good job. Okay. So, moving on. Okay. So now that they're that the Yoshi is probably uh, is at around mid percent, I think he, that Steve can definitely get some combos off. But it seems that Mitro is more or less focusing on still getting materials as much as he can. But he's also since he knows that uh, Yoshi has a lot of mobility, he's trying to also try to swat him away like with fair, yeah. whatnot. But it's, it's very difficult since Yoshi's so fast. And it might just beat out uh, Steve's options because they're so sort of stubby despite being disjointed. Alright. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, he's good. Okay. Good recovery. That had right. me worried there for a minute. Yeah, that had me worried too. Ooh. Ooh. You got him. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so since Mark is at a very high, Mark, Mitro, he's very, uh, he's at a high, very high deficit. He needs to be very careful and mostly focused on just getting at least a stock, just one stock, just so that we have s sort advantage, of an advantage for the next game. I feel like this is actually a really bad matchup for Steve. Another thing about it. Uh, maybe. I'm not. I I haven't seen many Steves talk about the Yoshi matchup, but with that speed and mobility, maybe, maybe it is. And especially on such a small stage too. Yeah, it's very it's very hard for. Uh, yeah, it's very hard to collect materials. Yeah. Oh, that just barely whiffed. Oh my goodness. It's so hard for for Mitro to catch him. Okay, he got diamonds. He got diamonds on deck. He hasn't used it yet, though. Uh, okay, he gets punished for it, though. But he still has it. He has... Good. Nice. Okay, he got one stop. If he can get one more, that'd be perfect. That'd be amazing. Because now that he has so much damage... Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Good job, good stuff. If he, if, if he can get one more stop, just one more. If he does his miracle. One more stock, come on. That was so good that you got earlier. That was such a crazy setup. I've never seen that setup before, actually. I was happy by you, sure. Okay, so now that we have it this close, he, this is this this could be either one of them's game. Okay. All Yoshi really needs to do is get a really strong hit, like up smash, up smash, whatever, or up tilt, up air. It's a really close game. Ah, okay, we punished. It's fine. It's fine. That was great. Yeah, you got two stocks. 
It was Especially so close. That, like, you know, the last kill he did, that was yeah. amazing. That was great. That got the Yoshi so early because the way he placed the block, the anvil went straight through. Yeah. And it stage spiked him from the block outward. That's so good. That's so great. If I got hit by that, I'd be really mad. <laughs> I'd be so <laughs> mad. Ridley. Oh, one stock Yoshi and Ridley. Yeah. So we still have Patrick and Ronnie. So we're still doing. We're 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 doing great. All we need, all all we need Patrick to do, is to take one stock, and then all that's left is the Ridley. Mm. Ridley, uh, Ridley against like, you know, Ronnie and Patrick with like probably two stocks if uh, if the Yoshi does get at least yeah. one. And if that fails, we still have one more player. Yeah. But we can't count out the Yoshi yet. He might just sw yeah. swing that all the way around. He might all just do what the Steve did earlier. <laughs> yeah, so it's still very much doable for the, for Dallas. Mark, come here. No, that was, if I got hit by that, I would be really mad. <laughs> I'd be absolutely livid. <laughs> but good job, good job. So now it's Patrick versus uh, Samus. Patrick. Oh wait, no, Samus no. against Yoshi. No, no, it's it's it's, it's against himself. His worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. So it's Town City. Um, very good stage for um, for Samus. Lots of moves. To, uh, lots of space to move around, even with Yoshi's mobility. And if Yoshi's gonna jump in, which is probably what he's gonna do. Yeah, see, like that. Uh, Samus has enough range to sort of see see it coming from like a mile away. Up till it's landing from up there. Okay. So if Yoshi ends up just landing on top of you like that, all all Samus really needs to do is just up be out. See like that move. Oh, but nice he parried it. Good, good too. parry though. Down smash. Up till up till. Ah, uh, he drops the combo. It's fine. No. Oh. oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Just one stock. Just one stock. Okay, that was interesting for the Yoshi, but it's fine. Okay. Right now, they're sort of feeling each other out. This is a bit, this is a bit awkward. Right? They're doing a lot of moves that I feel like they shouldn't be doing, but it's okay. Because they're just feeling it out. Four tilt, an air, charge shot, parry, up B. You know, he could have just parried that. He could have just punished that with even without the parry, but he's like, nah, nah I'm gonna. I'm gonna showboat a little bit. I'm just gonna parry it, just to let him know, and then just up anyway. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't know parry again, uh, we should go and parry. Because if he parries the uh, four tilt, it's actually, that's actually a hard punish. Uh, Samus actually has some of the faster s uh, smash decks in the game. Oh! Let's go, baby! Now, now we could probably just win this. Yeah. We have the advantage. We have a very large stock lead. I don't think uh, he didn't lose, so we have like six stocks above him. I think they used to. I think all of them have at least like removed stocks, right? No. Yeah. No, I mean he's gonna have three stocks, but like we have, we have six. We have two people versus one. Yeah. One left. So, let's see how this goes, because now we're in the middle of stage big. All we need to do is clutch this out, and then we're good. We're good. <laughs> That's the objective. Don't let don't let Ronnie play the game. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I have a feeling that that. Uh, the the anchor. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Right now uh, we're in the middle of stage selection. <laughs> it's the worst fucking position to be in as a pitcher. <laughs> the game's tied. <laughs> okay. Well, they choose Yoshi's story. Interesting stage. Uh, against either of these characters, it's fine. You know, platforms can allow for uh, what's called Samus to have an easier time juggling because she has very large extensions off of the platforms. On top of that, since uh, Ridley has 
multiple jumps, it can make it hard to actually juggle him. Ooh, Ridley choosing a different skin to let us know that he is serious. Serious about the gaming. Okay, let's see. <laughs> They're both doing drop <laughs> uh, <laughs> Test it out. Okay, let's see. Okay. So right now, I think that we are safe to be extremely confident, but you know, depending on how uh, on how this really adjusts, you know, I think that they still have a fairly solid chance. So let's see. Okay, so charge shot. Okay. Ridley's playing very careful, using his the, the advantage of having multiple jumps, but you can't be throwing that out too often. Charge shot, you just charge shot like half charge, just goes right through it. Oh, that's oh he drops the punish. It's fine. Okay. That's a punish? Oh, a bit late to it, it's fine. Okay. So the thing about this matchup, right, is that uh Ridley is gonna have a little bit of a hard time going in. But I mean he has decent ground speed and pretty decent not really stellar aerial speed, but he has good aerials. But yeah. and in this range, he can either use his... He has burst options. So he has like side B, he has dash attack, stuff like that. Oh, he falls out of the multi-hit. Let's go ultimate. It's fine. Okay, so right now he should focus on, on getting out there. We'll use the situation. Since the really seems to be really hard for him. In like middle options, which is interesting. Okay, the up is just swat him away. All good. Pa uh, bolt with a solid lead goes in with a gutsy nair. Okay, this is this could be an edge guard, but it's fine. He'll just egg, or not egg, but like you know, bomb. Okay, caught the Ridley. Oh, it's a charge slide. Nice. Very confident. Very strong. Good job. The Ridley's trying stuff, but it's not quite working out. It's not quite working out because he's yeah. being very, he's committing really hard. Okay, so what he should be doing is taking it a little bit easier to try to download. It where uh, Bolt likes to sort of throw things out and then adjust properly. But he's not exactly adjusting the, at the best. Volch is doing a lot better. And right. I wouldn't blame it too, because it takes it, a while to adjust. It takes a while to adjust and it's hard to deal with Samus, right? Like, they're, like I feel like Samus is a very underrated character. She has very solid tools and against, this, against Ridley, it's hard for him. Because typically he wants to use things like aerials every now and then, like Nair. But he also has a very strong ground game, so he has dash attack that kills that early, right? He has forward tilt, down tilt, up tilt. Uh, so I can't, I, I won't say that really has a really hard time getting in. It's just that Volt's doing really well at his sort of um, swatting him away. Okay, back throw. Yeah, the nair. I wouldn't say swat. I would say more zoning. Yeah, he, he swats him away. Well, mostly because uh, he's zoning, and then when he jumps in, he just goes, "Hey, what are you doing coming close to me? Get out, get back out there!" And like, Volt uses an air affair. Up tilt. Yeah. Oh, the uppy, interesting option. Okay, dash tag. Very hard for really punish, but I think could have probably just used air or up smash. Volt just needs one really good hit in. There is that. Yep. Now, see, that's the commentator. Yeah, see? You give people. You give. You give them what they want. What they need or what they don't want, you know, depending on how you see it. Nice combo. Yeah, you know, uh, there's the platform. Uh, touch chase, but it's fine. Okay, now Volt just needs to land, jumps out. If you can win with two st uh, with a two stock lead, that'd be perfect. I lied. No, no he has he'll, a jump. He'll he'll make he has it. a jump. Oh, he has wall. He has wall jump. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Let's go with the save from Ridley. Let's go. I didn't know we had a secret agent over there. Let's go. Ooh. Vol needs to be careful though, because he's on a really high. Yeah, see, there's the up smash. It starts from the back forward. It's a weird, really weird up smash from Ridley. Ridley. Okay, charge shot on deck. Oh, that was the. He was. That was plus actually. Just like that. Okay. Really can actually make this back, so I'm a little bit concerned, but as long as Volt can get one strong hit in. Back air, charge shot. Yeah. Charge shot right there. Oh, it should have did it a bit earlier. Oh my god. Okay, this is getting a little bit too close for comfort right here. 
I think if he just gets one oh, round, oh, there we go. Oh, oh no, it didn't end. No. The, it didn't end. Where's the kill power on that move? Boneless. The next hit will do it. The next hit will do it. Yeah. Red. Uh, portal. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so stressful. Oh my goodness. This is too close for comfort. Uh, it is right right now. Bolt could just use like a like up throw and that that'll probably kill if he just conditions for shield. Yeah, charge shot right there. Charge shot. Yo 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 yo. No. Then grab. Oh, oh my god. What? Not the needle. It's okay. 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 He just needs the condition for a grab. No. Oh, that's no. it. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. That's what I was a bit worried about. But it's okay. It's one stock. Yeah. All, all Ronnie needs to do is just like cheat. He just needs to just grab, grab the, grab the lizard, and just put him on the shoulders and just break his back. Look how, look how brittle Ridley looks. He's bone. He's all skin and bone. Okay. Do you know that you can mash out a really side B? No, I did not. Yeah, uh, you can mash out really fast, but typically what really do after you mash out is that they may they mash jab because it's really oh, fast. Yeah. So if you're, it's really hard because if you mash out, you have to like shield immediately. If you're good at it and you know the matchup, you can definitely just shield immediately. But if you're not, typically you either get hit by the grab and then get thrown off stage and die, or you get hit by jab. Now, this is for all the marbles. I'm so confident that we got this. Yep. So, let's win this. Our first victory of the for the play. Okay, let's do this. Go home, eat food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. Wendy's mathematician coming out, yo. Shows how it works. Is the chemical makeup of the bacon? <laughs> Big. Seuss Domesticus, let's go. Okay. I don't think it's that, but it's whatever. Alright, let's go. Goodbye, Ridley. I think this will be a really easy match. Only because... Oh, well, he, well, he has a huge lead. Huge lead, and also... They're kind of opposite of each other, in a way. Yeah. Like really has really has to approach at some point, which is what Incineroar wants. Like yeah. right now, all Ronnie has to do is play back. If he shoots fireballs, he revenges it, and then he just grabs Ridley, or just hits him for 32%. Look at him, beautiful mash out. Uh, surprisingly, the really doesn't go for jab right after. A lot of a lot of them do, or maybe he just like did four points. So. Oh yep, can't believe he just died. Let's go, let's go, baby. Quick game there. That was a quick game. <laughs> really needs more bone. And sorry, you died so early. The champion belt too. Hey, you brought up the belt saying, "Yo, I won. We got the W." So I think that we're good. Yeah. Oops. No GGs. Okay. All right. So that's that's it. That was great. How do you feel about the games that we saw today? It was very interesting. Uh, it was a very very. Intense. It was intense. Yeah. He cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Mark cheated. Cheater. Again, great game from both sides. Huh. Yeah. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for coming by. We really appreciate it. And one more word from our sponsors, GTA. Guam Army National Guard and Glidepath. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. We would not be here without you. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have a good one. I hope you all have a good day. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson and the perfect wave. We start here and here.
you start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most, the ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now.